everyone, today I'll be doing a unboxing and first impression of this, which is the Wacom Intuos Medium. Uh, and this is Wacom's newest tablet, and I'm super excited to try it out, and this is also my first Wacom tablet, so I'm super excited. And I got it in the color pistachio. It also comes in black and berry, and I wanted the berry one, but it said it's only available in certain regions, so I couldn't get it. <laughs> And it comes with three soft downloadable softwares. Um, digital painting software, and one for comic and manga, and one for photo editing. And I went ahead and downloaded the two for digital painting and manga. <laughs> and did I already say that this tablet comes with blue like built-in Bluetooth? Um, my computer doesn't have Bluetooth. But, I'm going to buy a little Bluetooth adapter so I can use the wireless capabilities of this tablet. And, before we un open this, I'm just going to show you what I was using before I got that. Which I guess, since I haven't opened that yet, I'm still using it. You can see me. Hi, folks. <laughs> um, this is a... Oh, I cut it on. <laughs> this is a um, Microsoft Surface 3, and here's the pen. And if I'm not mistaken, this tablet pen thing only has a thousand, a little bit over a thousand levels of pressure, whereas this has over 4,000. So it's an upgrade, definitely. And. I can draw directly on this screen, but this is not the type of tablet that you can draw. Like, you can see what you're drawing. Like, what, 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 you know what I'm talking about. That isn't that type of tablet, but this is. So, I've had a tablet like this before where you don't, it doesn't have a screen on it like this. <laughs> so, I don't think I'll have too much trouble adjusting, readjusting rather, since I've already used that before. But anyway, let's open this. We don't need to. Gonna get my exacto knife. Mm. Watch my fingers. Super exciting. Guess what I wanted? A white box. <laughs> you can see me again. Hi. Okay. So here it is. With this little pad and a pencil. Ooh, it's so light. That is so cool. That is nice. Put that over there. Here we have cord. Which you use to plug it into the computer. If you don't have Bluetooth like myself, and I get this out. And I guess I'm gonna get this out first. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is the instructions and like the manual and stuff. And I'm gonna try to get this pin out again. Yeah. This pin is wireless. And it's also um, battery free, which I think is really cool, and it's really light, which I guess if you don't need batteries, it's going to be really light. So we're going to move this box out of the way, and we're going to open this. Ooh, so exciting. What is this? Oh, here it is. Take the 
does this plastic work? Okay. <laughs> And you put your pin here, or you can use this little thing here and slide it in here. Right? Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Eh, I've seen it done before. Why can't I do it? There it is. Ta-da! So you keep your tablet and your pen together. That's nice. I want to show you my old tablet. This is my first ever tablet, and it's by Huion, and you can see how small this is in comparison to this. So tiny. And this stopped working a little while ago, so, so you don't need to anymore. So I guess now all that's left is to install the drivers and start drawing. Let me see how this works. Hmm, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Right after I see how this pen works. How do you get the nibs out? Uh, unscrew this. And it's in there, that's so cool. Nice. Okay, it's on. I didn't mean to cut it on. I don't have Bluetooth. Uh oh. We're just gonna go ahead and install the driver. Before I show you the speed painting, I want you to get some of this real time drawing action. And as you can see, there is no screen on this tablet, which means you have to draw while you look up at your computer screen. Which I mean, it does take some getting used to, especially when you're doing it for your first time, but like I said before, I have, I've had a tablet like this before, so it didn't, well, it, it took me, I mean, like, towards the end of the drawing, I finally got used to it, but, I mean, once you get over the learning curve, it's, it's pretty easy to, to use, and as far as the drivers are concerned, they were really easy to install and download and stuff. You just plug the tablet in and then go to the website and then download the drivers and install them. It's that easy and I didn't have any problems or anything, so that's amazing. And here I'm just doing some tests to see how the pressure works, and it works amazingly. <laughs> like, um, with my Surface tablet... <sighs> With some things, the pressure isn't the greatest, and it kind of also took me a little while to get used to more pressure sensitivity. Because um, when I was doing the tests, um, drawing things earlier, <laughs> um, the brush size was pretty big, but I was able to get some really fine lines, and that was really cool, and I really liked that, so I'm really happy with my purchase. <laughs> Um, and what are some other things I could say about this tablet? First impressions. Hmm. Well, I like the size of it. I'm glad I didn't get the small one because I've, I've worked with a Wacom Intuos Pro once before. And I was at our local library. They have a teen lab and there's a Wacom Intuos up there. And I think it might be the large one or the medium one. I don't know. And I remember the first time, the only time, I used it. And it's like I had this small tablet at home, and then I go up here, and I'm like, wow, this thing is huge. And it, it was just amazing. <laughs> so I'm glad I got a bigger tablet, and it, it just feels like I have more space to move, you know, because I'm not, like, confined to this small area, which is like, if I'm not mistaken, the Huion tablet um, area is like 4 by 6 or something like that, which is, is pretty small, and you know, it's just, it's just nicer to work on a, on a larger tablet, you know, 
and the pen is really really light and it's not like a bad light <laughs> um it kind of it's kind of like a pencil working with a regular pencil you know a pencil's not that heavy and it's not that chubby either so um the Wacom Intuos pen is it's like working with a regular pencil which was nice or maybe even working with a paintbrush Maybe like a paintbrush without a long handle. That's kind of what it reminds me of. And it's nice and I like it. And also, this does not have anything to do with the, um, how the tablet works or anything. But they attach, it's like this little thing you use to keep your cord together. And it's like some type of rubber or something. And it's just really nice. And I really appreciate that they gave me something that's not like like a twist tie something that i will probably just be like yeah i'm gonna throw this away because it, it just came loose i'm holding it now <laughs> but it's just something to keep your cord together with and i think it's nice so that's a cool thing and i also really like the packaging i think the packaging is nice and i like the color even though i wanted the pink one but the color is it's pretty and it looks like the little dots on the tablet are also pistachio green, which is also cool. And as far as the express keys are concerned, I still had to use my keyboard for certain um, things like switching to the brush tool and the eraser and stuff like that. And I kind of had to remind myself that I have express keys on the tablet to do things like um, undo and redo and things like that. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a really nice tablet, and I like it, and it's really lightweight. Like, it's not that heavy at all. And it's just, it's just a nice tablet. And if you're looking to get a graphics tablet, I mean, I would recommend it. And also, I like that it comes with programs that you can use, because, like, if you're a beginner and you don't have any type of drawing programs, you might not want to go out and buy some programs, so it's nice that it comes with Painter Essential 6 in Clip Studio, which I also wanted to try Clip Studio. Now I have Clip Studio, so I can try it out, and I think that's just really nice that they included that with the tablet. And also having the nibs in the pen, that is just like so cool, because it's like I don't have to, like once this nib wears out, which it doesn't look like it's wearing out yet, which I have just done one drawing with it so far, so I mean sense. Wouldn't want it to wear out that fast, now would we? But, like, when I do need my nibs, I don't want to have to go searching for them. They're in the pen, and I just, I just think that's really nice, and it also has a little hole in the top of it so that you can take the old nib out, and I, I just think that's, that's a really cool design, and it's really nice. It feels nice to hold the pen in your hand, and it has this grip. It's like a rubbery grip, and it feels nice. And I just, I just love it. I love it so much. So, my review for this tablet, which I guess it's, I mean, I can't really give a full review because it's, it's my first impression, what I'm thinking of it, like, after using it for the first time. It's amazing. <laughs> and this is my first Wacom tablet, and I'm really happy with it. And I came really close to purchasing one of the old in, um, Wacom Intuos's. Intuos's, is that even a thing? <laughs> um, I was going to buy one once, but I ended up not getting it, and I ended up getting the Surface tablet instead. And I am glad that I got the Surface tablet, because it's just, I mean, it got me from point A to point B, and I do think I improved my digital art while I've had this thing. But... I just think that this tablet will be better for me because um, I think it'll help me with my posture even though while I drew this I was sitting in my chair like uh, with my knees up to my chest which is not good and I should not do that but <laughs> I'm gonna try to work on my posture while I work with this tablet and it's gonna be easier because I don't have to look down at a screen instead I'm looking up so I can keep my back straight so I won't have back problems and wrist problems and all other sorts of problems so that's that's one of the reasons why I got this instead of a tablet with a screen and I was gonna get the Wacom Intuos Pro medium but this one was a hundred dollars cheaper and <laughs> 
and it's just prettier than the the um, Intuos Pro because it's it comes in pretty color, you know. And it's just really nice. And if you're looking to get a tablet, I mean, if you want to get it because it's great. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please enjoy the rest of your day.